thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Zerxum today with another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my lineup update before I do my shopping spree, which I'll probably do after the hurricane. All these videos are going to be pre recorded, so please do show some support in this video. Smash the like button and also comment down something below. I may not be able to reply to the comments like I usually do because of the fact that my power may be out, but I'll try to get to all the comments after, obviously, my power comes back on. All these videos are going to be scheduled. I'm not really sure when this video is going to be going up, but please do hit that like button. But let me show you guys my lineup, and I'll explain why everyone is where they are. So at the quarterback position, we have Big Ben Roethlisberger, and we also have this Matt Stafford. But Big Ben's throwing stats, I like a lot more than this Matt Stafford. Now, obviously, the throw power is a little bit better on Stafford, plus the speed, but... The short, the medium, and the deep also throw on the run and the play action go to Big Ben. Now he actually is an AT. I got him from the level up pack, which I believe is like level 28 or something. It cost me like $3 to get, but I'm definitely going to be looking to get a new quarterback. I'm not sure if I'll get one in the shopping spree or if I'll just wait and see if I can pull one somewhere or if I can just get one some other way. But for now, we do have Big Ben and he's not too bad, but the main part of my offense is definitely my backfield right now. We happen to have three amazing running backs so at the running back number one we have 93 not 92 93 overall ladanian thompson with the chemistries he goes for 93 yes he is a 92 that is the level master finally got him 89 speed 92 agility 91 excel with 92 carry that's crazy good carrying 90 ball conversion with a 91 elusiveness 76 truck and an 88 juke move also a 74 strength and he also has 82 catching, which is absolutely ridiculous as well. Spin move of a 90, juke move of an 88, and a stiff arm of 92. That card is absolutely glitchy. Now, we also have 88 Jordan Howard. I pulled his 87 out of the gauntlet unleashed, like 85 overall NAT. So, I threw in the power up rewards, so I'll also be able to get any upgrades that he gets throughout the year and upgrade them as well. Now, at the running back number three, we also have 87 overall Bo Jackson with 87 speed and 88 XL. Actually, I think Jordan Howard is actually my third running back, and Bo Jackson is the second running back, I believe that, but I may put Jordan Howard at the third down running back. I still have not decided on what I want to do there, because sometimes Bo Jackson does drop some catches, and if you're going to have someone in on the third down, you kind of want them to make sure that they're going to get the catch, so... Jordan Howard, 71 catch, and Bo Jackson has 64. So, Brian, I'm putting Jordan Howard at the third down running back. We have Bo Jackson, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Jordan Howard in the backfield. Absolute studs. Cannot wait to see what kind of upgrades Jordan Howard gets, but we're going to have this LaDainian Tomlinson all year. So, worst case scenario, LaDainian Tomlinson will probably be my backup all year. And then, I guess if Jordan Howard does amazing one week and gets a team week card, I can throw that in the upgrade set and get an amazing Jordan Howard as well or just keep that Jordan Howard as an 88 overall and always keep him as the third running back but now on to the wide receiver core we need to give one more splash wide receiver once we do finally do our shopping spree but 87 overall Demarius Thomas 86 speed 79 catch 85 spec catch 87 release 82 round with an 82 catch traffic and an 89 jumping also six foot three 72 strength and the number one thing i love about this card is going to be that 70 run block compared to randy moss 34 run block on moss is absolutely terrible which is why i have randy moss actually in the slot but 69 impact block as well and randy moss 34 impact block but receiving wise this randy moss may be the best card in the game with playmaker chemistry as well 90 speed which is i believe the third highest speed because we do have the 91 speed tyree kill and also the 91 speed john ross but 87 randy moss has 90 speed 86 catch 82 elusiveness 90 spectacular catch he's six foot four 84 release 85 round one with an 81 catch traffic and a 90 jumping this card is insanely glitchy with also an 89 acceleration and then at the wide receiver number two we have Devonte adams which is the card that i want to actually replace because of the fact that this Devonte adams is kind of really trash and i want to get someone good like ty hilton or odell or someone that can make a big play because this Devonte adams isn't fast he doesn't have amazing spectacular catch he doesn't have, you know, the best route run. He's not going to run a slant route perfectly or a post route and get a ton of separation. He's just kind of decent. 
Now, we also have this 83 overall Christian Okoye at the fullback. Not too special, but he's decent. And then at the offensive line, we have 84 Nate Solder, who is an NAT, so I need to upgrade him. And I'll see what kind of sets I can throw him into. I'm really not sure what I can throw him into, but there are definitely some way better left tackles in the game. But the only thing is that most of the offensive linemen are kind of really expensive, like 150k to 200k, just for like an 87 overall left tackle. Now we also have Joel Batonio at the left guard, and I don't think I'm going to try to upgrade him, but I think the two positions on my offensive line I want to upgrade are going to be my NAT positions. Maybe Shaq Mason can stay, but I definitely need to upgrade Nate Solder because he's only an 84, and I want to get him to at least an 85 or an 86 overall. Now at the tight end position, we also have this Tyler Eifert, 86 overall, and I think I'm going to do the Bears and get that Zach Miller team leader because I think he has 81 speed with Avon run block. So, above 80 speed, so he'll be my fastest tight end, and he'll be the highest run blocking tight end that I have, and this Tyler Eifert really just isn't fast enough for me. He does have pretty good run block and very good catching stats, but really... I just need somebody pretty fast at my tight end number one, and Tyler Eifert honestly is not cutting it. Now at the safeties, we have Byron Jones and JJ Wilcox. Now who I plan on getting a free safety is pretty obvious. I want to get the Honey Badger at free safety once we do do our shopping spree. I believe it's like 400k right now, and I do have almost 1.5 million coins, but 85 speed, 87 acceleration with 79 play rick, 70 tackle, 79 demand coverage, and an 80 zone coverage with 82 pursuit and a 64 hit power. JJ Wilcox, the ex-cowboy, has 82 speed with 86 excel, 83 zone, and an 86 hit power. Now this Byron Jones, honestly, is an absolute budget beast. This card get so many interceptions and jump so many routes and i can only imagine how his team leader card plays but i know this is the tyron matthew literally is better at every single stat than this byron jones so that tyron matthew must play godlike so i definitely want to pick him up at free safety strong safety i think jj wilcox might stay there because he is nat Next up, we have the linebackers, and at the run to linebacker, we have Ryan Kerrigan, and I believe I want to get Terrell Suggs, the gauntlet edition, to replace this Ryan Kerrigan. Now, I do have enough gauntlet trophies, and I'll probably pick him up during my shopping spree video, but 75 speed, 80 strength, 84 tackle with an 83 block shed, 88 power move, and 87 hit power. Now, honestly, Nick Perry plays way better than this Ryan Kerrigan. 85 block shit with an 80 speed and he also has a power move of 85 but this nick perry gets me way more sacks than ryan kerrigan and definitely makes way more plays now on to the middle linebackers we definitely have some depth here we have ryan shazier and Dion buchanan at the two starters now both these guys very fast very good users so i can use her either of these guys i like to use her shades here though because of the fact that Dion buchanan does have 82 zone coverage by himself and then we also have an nat Derek johnson who only has 76 speed so he's not even in the lineup right now but we also have mike singletary who has 81 speed in a 70 zone and he is the third middle linebacker so he's kind of like the backup to the backup and he only comes in when someone gets tired now down to the defensive line this is probably Probably the strongest position but we do need to upgrade the defensive tackles now 88 Jarrell Casey and 90 overall Reggie White but this is showing him for the right end so he's only an 89 overall right end but a 90 left end 66 speed 88 strength 89 tackle 82 block shit with a 91 power move and I believe they actually pulled this Jarrell Casey and that's his NAT version so I threw him in the NAT set so if he gets any upgrades throughout the year i can also do that and then we also have the 90 reggie white for the twitch prime legends and i also have enough tokens to get another twitch prime legend so let me know should i get mike singletary or should i get the strong safety ronnie harrison that might be the move to get tyron matthew and then get ronnie harrison a strong safety but 78 speed also with a 90 strength he has 87 block shed 89 power move and an 89 play rec honestly jerrell casey doesn't really do much for me and neither does reg white to be honest i mean honestly my best pass rusher seems to be nick perry now on to the defensive tackles i definitely want to upgrade both of these guys i have chris baker nat and brandon williams nat now really i only use these guys if somebody is running the ball a lot so 65 speed and 53 speed 84 strength and 90 strength and then 84 block shed and 82 now i know brandon williams does have a team leader card so i may be interested 
in picking up that upgraded card we'll have to see about that though and i'm really not sure who else i can get i might get demon harrison but the only thing is that demon harrison is so slow and i don't think there's a set that i can throw this chris baker into because he's an 85 overall brandon williams only an 82 overall i'm not sure why it says he's an 85 right there when i know he's only an 82 but they're both nat so chris baker will probably stay at the defensive tackle number two at the worst case and then brandon williams will slide down to either the defensive tackle number three or i'll put him in a set now with the cornerbacks i think i want to pick up one very very good cornerback but Deion sanders is amazing 89 speed 91 excel with 92 man coverage and an 87 zone with 68 press and 86 play rick jason Verrett, pretty good as well with 87 speed and 87 excel 84 man in an 82 zone coverage with 78 press and a 79 catch and then in the slot we have desmond trufant with 86 speed and 87 excel we also has 82 men and an 81 zone. Now, I think I want to pick up a really good cornerback. And then maybe if I can pick up someone like absolutely amazing, an 88, 89 overall, and then move Deion Sanders into the slot with 92 man, also 89 speed and 91 excel. No one can really get past him. Now, I also have Stefan Gilmore with 87 speed and 90 excel, but only 79 man in 81 zone, which is kind of bad. And then at the cornerback number five, I have Champ Bailey power up tier two. Who is an 83 and i'm not sure why it says he's an 85 or an 86 but 84 speed and 85 acceleration with 82 man and an 83 zone coverage so the defense is also pretty stacked but i definitely need to pick up i think probably a left outside linebacker gonna get tyron matthew maybe i'll pick up the rodney harrison for a strong safety and then another cornerback and finally on to the specials we have caleb sturgis at the kicker position we actually pulled him and then third down running back i'm going to put ladanian thomas here for the time being before i figure out who i actually want to put there and then at the kick returner and the punt returner which i'm not sure why it's just taking so long to put him in the third down running back but punt returner and kick returner we have john ross and Deion sanders and of course Deion sanders but this is my lineup definitely loving this team so far but it definitely needs some upgrades but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment please show your support in this video because i'm not sure how long i will be until i'm back hopefully i have enough videos to make daily uploads maybe i'll make a video on the hurricane while it's hitting me because it's not looking too good for me. It's looking like it's going to go right over top of me. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.